أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء وأعز المرسلين حبيبي إله العالمين أبي القاسم المصطفى محمد وعلى آل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين المنتجبين واللعن الدائم على أعدائهم أجمعين من الآن إلى قيام يوم الدين آمين رب العالمين صلى الله عليك يا فاطمة صلى الله عليك يا مولاتي يا فاطمة الزهراء صلى الله على الزهراء البتول الذي قد عصروها بين الحائط والباب صلى الله على الصبت الثالث المحسن الشهيد ورحمة الله وبركاته My dear brothers and sisters I begin with the greeting of Islam Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Tonight, my dear brothers and sisters, is the night of farewell. Tonight is our final night here as we commemorate the night of Muhassaniyyah. And if it was in our hands, these nights would go on for 10 days like Hussein ibn Ali's nights in Muharram. But inshallah, Insha'Allah, Allah accepts and Sayyidah Fatima accepts and Rasulullah accepts from us and Insha'Allah there is no taqseer and shortcomings on our part. Ya Sahib al-Zaman <coughs> In the last couple of nights with the limited time that we have had we have shed light upon the sanctity of these holy days. And here as we stand, as we sit, sorry, live from the Karbala of Abbas and the Karbala of Hussein alayhi salam, we send our condolences to you, my dear brothers and sisters, from this sacred land. And of course, we send our condolences first and foremost to my master behind me and my master in front of me on the martyrdom of their dear brother al muhassan Today, my dear brothers and sisters, what we would like to look at is al muhassan in the eyes of Rasulullah and in the eyes of Allah. You see, in some of our traditions, you'll find that when it comes to the Day of Judgment, there is a majlis that will happen on the Day of Judgment concerning the martyrdom of al muhassan Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wishes to inform all of humanity and creation about the crime that was committed on the first second of Rabi' al-Awwal. On that day, Allah's chastisement and fury will be displayed as Al Muhassan alayhi salam will be brought forth by Khadija alayhi salam, Umm al Mu'minina, and by Fatima bint Asad alayhi salam. And then they will be carrying Al Muhassan alayhi salam. You will read the Nas later, insha'Allah. And on that day, judgment, judgment for the killers of Imam Muhassin will be enacted on that day. 
For what crime was he killed? Let us look at the following tradition that I want to begin with. I found it to be quite interesting, my dear brothers and sisters. The fact is the tradition itself is well known. The tradition here can be found where I have recorded it from, of course, is I have recorded it from Baytul Ahzan of Sheikh Abbas Al Qummi, page 123. And I have also recorded it from non-Shia sources as well, such as Fawa'ul al-Sahaba of Ahmad ibn Hanbal, volume 2, page 601 and 648, and also Mustadrak al-Hakim, volume 3, page 123. It's quite an interesting narration. The narration is the one that you have probably heard before. But what makes it very interesting, my dear brothers and sisters, is the commentary of Shaykhuna Al-Aqdam Al-Saduq Allah Ta'ala Alayhi. His commentary in Ma'ani Al-Akhbar. He says, فِي قَوْلِ النَّبِيِّ لِعَلِيٍ عَلَيْهُمَ السَّلَامِ إِنَّ لَكَ كَنْزٌ يَا عَلِيُّ فِي الْجَنَّةِ أَنْتَ ذُو قَرْنَيْهَا He says, Rasulullah says to Ali, there are many interpretations for what this kens, what this treasure can be. Ali, Rasulullah says, Oh Ali, you have a treasure. A treasure in paradise. And you are Tzul Qarnayn, because you are the master of both sides of paradise. You are the master of paradise, oh Ali. There's many also definitions as to what Dhul Qarnayn means. Because Dhul Qarnayn usually refers to that of which has, or Al Qarn is two horns, or two things. And some of our interpretations from our ulama, they refer to the, the, the Dhul Qarnayn is Al Hassan and Hussein. But what's interesting here, my dear brothers and sisters, is the following commentary by Shaykh al Saduq. A reliable commentary here, what he says, and this is found in Ma'ani al-Akhbar. And I'm narrating it from Baytul Ahzan of Sheikh Abbas al-Qummi, the House of Sorrows, which I believe is translated in English. He says, Samahtu ba'd al-mashayikhi yuthkar. Yuthkar inna hadha al-kanz huwa waladahu al-muhassin. It has been reported that this kens, this treasure that awaits Ali ibn Abi Talib in heaven is his son, al muhassin And he says, what? Some of my mashayikh, some of my teachers have reported this matter or it has been rep reported by them. وَهُوَ السَّقْتُ الَّذِي أَلْقَتْهُ فَاطِمَةَ صَلَوَاتُ اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِمَا he says, Sheikh al Saduq says this by the way. Just so you know that the matter of Fatima alayhi salam being crushed between the two doors and miscarrying al Muhassin is a matter that is unanimous amongst the Shia. And it can even be found in the books of the Mukharifin. But it's scattered in pieces in their literature. He says that Kenz is Muhassin and he is the miscarried child that Fatima alayhi salam miscarried. Peace be upon her. When Dhuqitat, when she was crushed, Dhuqat means pressure, crushed with pressure Bainul Babain between the doors. Sheikh Sadduq says this. And the Mashayikh, the my teachers, what they use as evidence for this is the following also narrations that are also found in the books of the Muslims. He says, and they istanadu ila hadal ma'na. 
بهذا الخبر they concluded this meaning from this narration that a miscarried child remains by the doors of paradise and that word here used منهبطن, means with anger or annoyed attaching himself or herself to the doors of paradise not moving and then it will be told enter heaven enter heaven and then the call will come out and say nay I shall not enter heaven until my parents enter heaven and this is the call in which the Mashayikh of Shaykh al Saduq said that this Kenz could possibly be in Muhassan in fact my dear brothers and sisters it is our belief and it is my belief as well because when it comes to the words of the Ahl al-Bayt السلام, they are words that are deeper than we think their words are layered their words can have different meanings so there's possibility that this Kenz can be more than one thing but the misdaq of this Kenz the application here of this Kalam could possibly be none other than Al-Muhassan. The reality of this is Al-Muhassan alayhi salam. What other treasure greater than paradise awaits Ali and Fatima than the miscarried child Al-Muhassan in which they did not lay their eyes upon and the only time they saw him is none other than six months on the floor while the fire is blazing. Do we not ever think of this matter by the way? I want you to, even when you read, this, when you read any hadith, as well as when you read the maqtal. What did we read yesterday? We read that Fatima to Zahra alayhi salam, she said that I fell face down on the blazing, scorching fire, which was blazing from the floor until it burnt my face and left a mark on my face. This means that Al-Muhassan alayhi salam during those moments when he was miscarried when he was miscarried he fell on that same ground burning take a moment and try to picture what is happening here So when Rasulullah says, Oh Ali, you have a kenz, it's not far-fetched that this kenz, this treasure is not al-muhassan. And the narrations also do tell us, by the way, that the miscarried child, my dear brothers and sisters, will remain by the door of heaven. And the miscarried child can even seek intercession for the one's parents. What other bigger sacrifice do we have in the eyes of Allah? Is there a bigger sacrifice than Al-Muhassan alayhi salam? Nobody doubts that Karbala and Abdullah al was a tragedy unlike any other. But it is as if Abdullah al himself takes Al-Muhassan as Uswa Hasana. He takes Al-Muhassan, his uncle, as a parable when it comes to sacrifice for your Imam. When it comes to sacrifice for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for la ilaha illallah, then blood means nothing, nothing. Al-Muhassan was that first sacrifice that Fatima gave. She gave Muhassan, she gave Hassan, she gave Hussein. Salamullah alayki ya Fatima. What did you give in the name of Allah? How grand? We really, by the way, there is too much taqseer, as many short, there's too much shortcomings when it comes to us and wilaya. We have taken wilaya for granted. The wilaya of Ali ibn Abi Talib is a ni'mah, a blessing. As Allah says, binas al-Qur'an, binas al-Qur'an, the wilaya of Ali ibn Abi Talib is a ni'mah. Al-yawma akmiltu lakum deenakum wa atmamtu alaykum ni'mati. The blessing of wilaya on this day the wilayah of Ali ibn Abi Talib and the Imams 
is Jannah. That man, my dear brothers and sisters, a man enters upon the Imam alayhi salam. A man enters upon Imam al-Sadiq alayhi salam and says to him, Ya ibn Rasulullah, ud'u li, ud'u li likay adkhul al-Jannah. Uridu al-Jannah. O son of the messenger of Allah, pray for me so that I may enter paradise. He says, He says, O oh, oh man, I will pray for you so that you do not leave paradise. Because why? Because as long as you are in our wilaya, you are in Jannah. Now inshallah, my dear brothers and sisters, we'll just take a short one minute break and we will come back to you. Bidnillahi ta'ala. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. brothers and sisters there's not much time left so inshallah we will try to conclude with some of the scenes that will happen on the day of judgment in a very lengthy hadith that is narrated by al mufaddal ibn umar from imam al-sadiq salawatullahi ta'ala alayhi he says on that day, on the day of judgment, Hussein will then rise this mother in his own blood. And all that who were killed with him will rise. And when the Messenger of Allah lays his eyes upon him, he begins to cry and do to his cries, the heavens and the earth cry. Fatima will let out a loud screech, in what state do you let out a loud screech when your ribs are broken? How much pain? Every time you cry, what do you feel, O Fatima? Every time you bow down in prayer, what do you feel? Think of Fatima, by the way. Take a moment to think of a Zahra, 45 to 95 days after these nights. When we have a little bit of a cold and a cough, we have so much trouble breathing. Fatima alayhi salam spent. She would still cry, she would still weep over her father. I don't know how. Fatima will let out a loud screech, the earth will shake and all who reside will feel it. As for the commander of the faithful, he will stand. Al Hassan on his right, Fatima on his left. Hussein will approach the Prophet, will embrace him, and will say, O oh Hussein, may I be ransomed for you. Your eyes and mine have been blessed with your presence. To the left of Hussein stands Hamza, the Lion of Allah on his earth and on his left. Ja'far, son of Abu Talib, the Tayyar, the aviator. As for Al Muhassan, Khadija, the daughter of Khawailid, Umm al Mu'mineen, and Fatima bint Asad, the mother of Ali ibn Abi Talib, will carry him as they will be screeching in pain. وأمه فاطمة تقول هذا يومكم الذي كنتم توعدون. His mother will say, "This is the day which you have been promised." And then she says, "اليوم تجد كل نفس ما عملت من خير." 
This day is approaching when every soul will sh shall find itself confronted with whatever good it has been, it has done, and whatever evil it has wrought. Then a sadiq says, and please pay attention. Please pay attention and understand the gravity of the situation that concerns al muhassin فَقَالَ فَبَكَ الصَّادِقُ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامُ حَتَّى خَضَلَتْ لِحِيَتُهُ بِالدُّمُوعَ ثُمَّ قَالْ لَهَا قَرَّتْ عَيْنٌ لَا تَبْكِي عِنْدَ هَذَا الذِّكْرِ He says, and Sadiq began to cry until his beard was smothered in his tears, soaked from his tears. He then said, listen, no eye shall find comfort if it does not weep upon this incident. Al-Mufaddal began to cry. فَبَكَ الْمُفَضَّلْ طَوِيلًا ثُمَّ قَالَ يَا مَوْلَاي مَا فِي الدُّمُوعَ يَا مَوْلَاي فَقَالْ مَا لَا يُحْصَى إِذْ كَانَ مِنْ مُحِقٍ Al-Mufaddal says to Imam al-Sadiq, Ya Mawlai, in the tears, what lies from reward and blessings? <coughs> Imam Sadiq says, if it comes, if it is for that which is deserving, then the reward, my dear brothers and sisters, cannot be counted. Then Al Mufaddal says, Ya Mawlai, ما تقول في قوله تعالى وإذا الموءودة سئلت بأي ذنب قتلت O oh Master, what do you say about this ayah? And when the baby is asked, is killed, for what crime for what crime were they put to death? بِأَيِّ ذَنْبٍ قُتِلَتْ يَا مُفَضِّلْ وَالْمَوْؤُودَةُ وَاللَّهُ مُحَسِّنٌ لِأَنَّهُ مِنَّا لَا غَيْرٌ He says, O oh, Mufaddal, by Allah, this is Al-Muhassin, for he is from us, no one else. Very lengthy hadith. Reported in Bihar al-Anwar, volume 53, page 23. And now we will conclude with this other scene that occurred with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi in the Mi'raj, in the Isra Afwan, in Kamul Ziyarat of Ibn Qulawi al-Qummi radwanullahi ta'ala alayhi. Ya Zahra, Ya Fatima. He reports in the final chapter, Nawadur Ziyarat, he says in chapter 103, 104, I believe, hadith number 12, he says that Imam um, Sadiq says, and the Prophet, when he ascended on his Isra towards the heaven, very lengthy hadith in which a caller calls out to the Prophet and says to him, Ya Rasulullah. Ya Rasul Allah, Allah wishes to test you with three to find, are you patient or will you be patient? The hadith continues and we continue to the part that we want to narrate until he says, As for the third, it concerns what your family will face after you. They will be killed. Your brother Ali, the Ummah will slander and admonish him, be violent towards him, deny him, usurp his rights, oppress him, and finally kill him. Rasulullah says, Oh Allah, I accept my Lord, I am pleased, and I submit and I seek success and patience through you. Then he says, Amma ibnatuka fatudhlam. وتحرم ويؤخذ حقها غصبا الذي تجعله لها وتضرب وهي حامل ويدخل على حريمها ومنزلها بغير إذن ثم يمسها هوان وذل ثم لا تجد مانعا
وتطرحما في بطنها من الضرب وتموت من ذلك As for your daughter, she will be oppressed, denied her rights, it will be usurped, she will be struck whilst pregnant, they will enter her home without permission, with disgrace and dishonor, no one will aid her and she will miscarry. The child in her womb from the beats that she will receive and she will die as a result of that. He says, Inna lillah wa inna lahi raja. Until the hadith goes on and the, the Imam explains what Rasulullah is seeing until it says, وَأَوَّلُ مَنْ يُحْكَمُ فِيهِ مُحْسِنًا مُحَسِّنٌ وَمُحْسِنٌ إِبْنُ عَلِي فِي قَاتِلِهِ ثُمَّ فِي قُنْفُذْ فَيُؤْتِيَانَهُ هُوَ وَصَاحِبُهُ that's on the day, my dear brothers and sisters, Aslu Yawmul Adab, where Al Muhammad will feel relief. And the first judgment on that day will be between Muhassan, son of Ali, and the one who killed him, and Qin Qunfud will be brought with his master. They will be lashed with whips of fire on that day, inshaAllah. And we will see the judgment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the justice of Allah. Assalamu alayka ya mawlaya ya aba abdullah. Assalamu alayka ya mawlaya ya abil fadl abbas. Addamullahu lakum al ajr. Addamullahu lakum al ajr. Addamullahu lakum al ajr. Assalamu alayka ya fatima ya mumtahana. امتحنك الله الذي خلقك قبل أن يخلقك فوجدك لمن تحنك صابر يا مولاتي يا فاطمة My dear brothers and sisters We end and we thank you for tuning in And I say Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Began to mourn Mohsen and Fatima behind the door.